Yellowbox. So this vlog is going to focus on installing a Yellowbox device in order to override the factory speed limiter sensor that limits vehicles such as the one used in this vlog and that being a 2019 Can-Am XMR 1000. This vehicle and potentially others are limited here in Europe at least to 105 kilometers per hour uh, which is actually 65 miles per hour. Whether they're actually limited uh, across the pond in the States, I don't know. Um, but that's certainly the, the issue that we have here uh, in Europe, especially here in Germany. The yellow box with the corresponding adapter kit can basically recalibrate the signal between the motor and the speedometer, known as the TACO, over here in Europe. So the trick basically is after you've stripped down the ATV, um, or in this case stripping down the XMR on the right hand side, um, is to try and locate the cable, or the wire that goes from the motor uh, and corresponding sensor to the speedometer. After locating the speed sensor and following up on the right hand side of the ATV, um, the hope is that the corresponding connector cable is tucked away behind the black protection housing. So the idea being is to remove this plastic cover and hope that we actually find the corresponding cable that we can connect to. The cable adapter from the yellow box can be ordered extra um, and is highly recommended because then it just turns the whole process into a simple plug and play. The plastic cover can be removed by unscrewing two 10mm nuts, so as we see after removing the cover, uh, we see the cable. Ich habe es vorher noch nicht gemacht. Ihr seid live dabei, wie ich die Abdeckung abnehme. Und wenn wir dahinter, oder dahinter, dann sind wir da vollkommen richtig. Oh. So, erstmal abkriegen. Genial mit der Abdeckung. Zack. So sieht es jetzt dahinter aus und so wie es aussieht, habe ich den Stecker gleich gefunden. Ja, ist er. Da ist er. Das ist dieser lustige Dreifachverbinder. Jo. Dazwischen werde ich jetzt die Yellow Box klemmen. Ja, da unten liegt sie. Und dann gucken wir mal, wie es dann aussieht. Ja, was soll ich sagen? Sehr einfach, Plug and Play, Stecker kommen vom Getriebe, geht hier weiter, also den Pin runterdrücken, abziehen und dann die Yellow Box dazwischen klemmen. So, simply connecting the yellow box with the adapter kit, you have the red and black for electric current and then the yellow cable that comes from the motor and the green wire are going to the control module. The signal is then bypassed through the yellow box, that then enables the recalibration. Das adjustierte, adjustierte Signal geht dann sozusagen zur Yellow Box und korrigiert. The Yellow Box basically supports a series of tests that can be performed after the installation. Okay, hier und da, ja, 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 okay. Hm, hm. So, also machen wir Zündung an und dann halte ich mal Minus gedrückt und dann sollte irgendwas passieren. Das gucken wir mal an. An example being to turn on the ignition. So, Zündung. Das funktioniert alles, sehr schön. Minus soll ich gedrückt halten. Minus ist außen. And then when keeping the minus button pressed, a series of tests are performed in conjunction with the ATV's speedometer. Okay, blinkt ganz toll, okay. As you can see here, uh, I'm going to be going up to uh, 65. and then all the way up to 125. <laughs> then simply programming the available box with the minus and plus buttons, uh, you can actually set and recalibrate the speed as you wish. So, 
gut, war cool. Ich glaube, nächstes Thema für mich hat sich dann welches Ding wir durch? Ich muss mal links gehen und dann wieder rechts. Ja, so einfach ist das eben. Now we're just going to go over to the test and see how this actually works out in combination with a GPS application running on a mobile phone. So Leute, ich bin dabei, die Yellow Box zu testen. Ja, was soll ich sagen? Der Tacho zeigt jetzt gerade ein bisschen viel, also ich sag mal 5, wenn ich 30 fahre, zeigt er 35 an, also 30 laut GPS zeigt der Tacho 35 an. So you simply enter the, uh, the programming modus of the yellow box by pressing both the minus and plus button simultaneously. And then once in the program mode of the yellow box, you simply press uh, the desired button, minus or plus, in order to recalibrate the speed. Wenn ich jetzt plus gedrückt halte, seht ihr ja, fängt immer schneller an zu blinken. das jetzt übernommen? Fast sagen ja. Mal testen. We're going to be doing a series of tests around about 30 kilometers an hour, um, all the way up to 60, and then the final test all the way up to 100 kilometers an hour. So, one last final test, and this being to uh, take it, take the ATV up to uh, 100 kilometers per hour, at least to that what is being uh, displayed on the speedometer, and compared to what is being reflected on the mobile GPS application. The yellow box basically seems to do exactly what it promises to do and uh, makes life even easier if you go along with the plug and play cable set. Um, easy to install, easy to program and recalibrate uh, the speedometer so uh, get more out of the machine and bypass the factory uh, limiter. So this was an independent review of the yellow box device um, we'll put a link uh, below and where you can actually go and buy 
uh, the device and corresponding cable kit, which is highly recommended. Um, comes in just over uh, 100 US dollars. Uh, and be advised it is shipped out of Australia, so it does take a bit of time to actually get to its final destination. So uh, you'll probably have to be patient if you actually do go ahead and order this. Um, but the product does exactly as I said, well, does exactly what it uh, says on the box. Um, yeah, easy to install. Good device. Highly recommended.